so it's an um, kind of question which is um, maybe normally interviewer can ask right so let's say we'll say like we will have one i will give one as an input and i want to this kind of series so until five number of records i want okay so we see that there are multiple records from one record and here is like the assumption is like we have asked uh, to uh, create only five records right so we have kind of number which is given to us as a five so what we can do is we can assign the we can think of normalize first and then we'll try to do how how you know we can create this this series okay so if you look at the design how roll so let's see here so we'll take the input and then we'll normalize it we'll create the five number of records and then scan it and scan because scan gives one out input record and one output record for each record so within scan we can manipulate the uh, the creation of the string right this kind of string for first record let's say we created this string for second record we created uh, you know this one and third one and so on so this is uh, in that way it seems simple so uh, we will pass all this uh, this uh, record one record we will have one record right so just, just given simply one we'll take it is an input or maybe you can take as a create data right or maybe input file anything and then there is a normalize so i will given length always i will give as a 5 whatever he has given the number as 5 right highest number 5 then uh, in the normalize function i would do is like out dot value in dot value plus index so my output after this would look like like uh one then one or two three four five this this is my output okay because i'm adding the index right in dot fail and index index for first record it is zero and then second one two three four right then i will pass these uh, record from the scan function so even scan i have just let's say declared a count and string string is to manipulate so it's an um, symmetric scenario right so one or two is part of the third record also one two three is part of fourth record also one two three four is part of four, fifth record also therefore it's in kind of symmetrical letter right so what we can do is we will utilize the previous calculated string value and then we will append this number always we will create this string and then for second record we will just append this two for third record i will just append we will take this one and then append three for fourth record i will take this one and i will append a fourth number four and similarly for all those records irrespective of how how uh, you know what is the upper limit we can create those many records so within a scan uh, we have a temporary type declaration so wherein we have created two variables str and count count is to take care of the take care of the number of records being passed through and the string is the intermediate string manipulation right so to save that within a is in a group so for this scan group there is in a null as key so key is going to be a null okay so a uh, whole uh, input is in one record okay so therefore this temp on temp this string right it's keep on uh, keep on appending it's not going to reinitialize for that the group so what is going to happen is how dot scan out scan temp in begin um i would do this one and then 
temp dot cnt is equal to temp dot cnt plus no, plus one right and then this one so i'm incrementing my count and i am appending this string right for if it is it's count zero so this is uh, this one out before that there is an, another function called initialize initialize right so initialize will take the input as a parameter begin and <coughs> temp dot str is equal to now let's say and temp dot cnt is equal to zero right so this will and scan uh, it will be like for first record i'm just giving one for second record onwards i'm just taking the temp dot string and then assigning temp dot cnt plus one so for first record this one will be outputted and count will increment to two as uh, for two one here and uh, next time when temp dot count is not equal to zero, then it will go here. Temp dot str is one, so one comma temp dot cnt becomes one at that point in time. Then one plus one two, so it becomes two. Similarly, for third record, temp dot cnt is not equal to zero, therefore it is going to come here. Temp dot str is now one two one comma two, and temp dot cnt is two plus one three, so this is going to be outputted. And uh, for finalize, like uh, uh, finalize, we will have temp and uh, in begin and and out dot str is equal to temp dot str. So for each and every record this finalize will be called and the whatever is the value up till that point in time of the str will be outputted so if you look at this design it is perfectly suited for it so just to take the input create the number of record up to the upper limit and then within scan you can manipulate it and then you can create the report output Okay, thank you so much. <clears throat>